gorgeous welcome back to life and style today's video is going to be my weekly plan with me um, and as I said in the haul video which will more than likely be up before this one um, it is so good to be back um, if you've been watching any of my videos you know that I have moved or was going through a move I did move uh, two weeks ago so I haven't really been able to sit down and film today is kind of my first down day i still have things to do but just like the very last you know hang up this hang up that but everything is uh built up and everything is going very well so um i'm just happy honestly so so happy to be sitting down in front of the camera or under the camera i should say to uh film this video i am going to be filming uh my plan with me for the week of january 21st through the week of january 27th and this is in my erin condren um, vertical as I usually do. The kit that I am using today, I have been holding on to this kit and I just couldn't wait to use it. I'm so happy it's finally time. This is called Patience from Pink Polka Dot Lily. She has this in two variations, foiled and non-foiled, but of course foil all the things as far as I'm concerned. It is gorgeous. Can you see that? I mean just so beautiful. So it is a silver foil. I'm going to go through this kit quickly um, just to you know show you what's here. These are your full boxes, your washi page. Look at that bottom washi. I mean, as soon as I saw that, like my mouth literally gaped open. You have your washi strips. You have quarter boxes here that are also foiled. I mean, it just it is a really beautiful kit. And then you have your ombre uh, checklist boxes here, um, a full page of those. Then you have rounded off half boxes, squared off half boxes, and the same for the quarter boxes and some other variations like scalloped and that sort of thing. And again, that foil is just, oh, it's, it's just so beautiful to look at. Then you have um, like your sidebar weekly, um, headers, another full checklist box, flags, scalloped uh, checklist flags and that sort of thing. And again, there's that core. I mean, it's just so freaking beautiful. I couldn't get over how much foil was in this kit. Then you have your headers page, which again is foiled beautifully. Um, the font on this is absolutely gorgeous. You have your date covers as well and three little bows at the bottom. And then you have, and I just noticed I don't have, oh, I do have date dots. I lie to you. There's a couple of other pieces that came with this kit. Um, but here is your deco functional type of um situation here flags here and then a lot of this most of this is foiled it is beautiful so that is the full kit it also came with and this was a freebie i believe with flags so i am going to create a weekend flag banner which i'm very excited about you have your silver foiled date dots which are beautiful and also gorgeously silver foiled glitter headers. Now I don't recall if this, I, I know this is a freebie with the flags. I don't recall if this was the full kit or if the, um, I'm sure the date dots came with it, but I don't remember if this was a, a separate item that I ordered, but um, I'm almost positive it was not. I think everything came together. I, I just, I can't with this. So let's go ahead and get started. I am not going to speed you through anything because I've been gone for some time and I'd like to have this kind of be a chatty plan with me and I said this in the haul video that I just did I'm in a different position as far as where my desk is in the new apartment so I'm still working out lighting here I mean I can see well in the viewfinder but I'm just hoping that you guys at home I think it should be okay um, but if if it seems a little dark, let me know down below because until I don't edit it, I will not know. And I want to know how you guys see it. So let's go ahead and get started with the date covers, date dots, and bottom washi as we usually do. This kit is just, I mean, seriously. I'm so super excited about it. Okay, so let's start with the date covers. And I think I'm probably going to have to, I'm going into my drawer now to get white out because I'm probably going to need that. I always think I don't and then it probably got really dark, right? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> There's light. Um, I always think it's not going to be um, too dark and then it is and I'm actually going to grab a pen really quick I have to make a note about something and then okay. 
working off of my TN insert. And I want to remember that it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day on the 21st. And I, you know, I've said this before about really major holidays that kids have off of school. I don't understand why. First of all, parents have to work most of the time. My office is not closed on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, and most offices are not. Regardless of whether they are or not, I think that kids should be in school learning the reason why we hold these people in such high regard. Um, or why we would have a holiday for it. Veterans Day, I think, being, for me, one of the most important ones. Um, you know, we see it as a day to have cookouts and shopping, and it's like, nah, that's, you know, that's not what it's about. Let's talk about the bravery of men and women. Okay, this is starting to become a, a, a complete disaster here. Oh my goodness, it's literally like lifting this. I hate this stupid thing. I ordered some more Tombow because this is a fracking disaster. Okay, let me try to close this up. This is the Bic Whiteout. Don't buy this. This is absolute shite. Um, and if it doesn't work, then we're just going to leave it like that because I'm not going to keep going back and forth over the same spot 20 times and you're going to be like, okay, girl, enough. <laughs> um, but anyway, I really think they should be in school learning why, um, you know, they, the, these days are holidays. Martin Luther King Jr., of course, being a big one. Like I said, Veterans Day being another one. There's no reason for the kids to be at home thinking, oh, hey, I got this day off. Nah, let's talk about why you have the day off, um, which I think is more important. So that is going to be, what date did I say that was going to be? Did I have it right? 20th? 21st, right? Yeah, 21st. Did I say the 24th? Why did I say? I think I said the 24th. It is the 21st, not the 24th. I'm looking at my, my TN insert and I'm like, that does not look right. Zoom you in a little more so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But yes, it is the 21st. So, yeah, so the move overall went very well. I actually still have some things at the old house, but I mean, my ex, well, my soon to be ex, I guess, if you will, <laughs> legally divorced, um, we're not on horrendous terms. Um, I don't get in touch with him, you know, there's no reason to, but we're not like, oh, I hate you, I hate you, and you know, that sort of thing. So I still have the key so that I can go, like today I got some stuff, but since it's just my car, it can get a little hard, and I had to bring a dresser. Something that I could handle, obviously, but I had to bring a dresser today by myself. So that took up a lot of space, and I filled in a couple other things, but um, I have to go back just to finish up. But overall, the move itself was good, interesting, but good. Um, I'm going to try to keep these a little even. And um, so Friday, which was the 4th? The 4th. I I think I talked about this. I, I got the key that day. I took the day off and I actually had five cars, a couple people helping me out that day. We tore that move up in the best possible way. We made two trips and like I said, it was five cars. We put in as much as we could. I mean, it was like, it, the, one of the girls that was there, she's like, I'm a Tetris master, we will make this work. And she was not kidding, we fit so much. And then when we got here, my dad, who also helped that day, he was like, what the hell are we waiting for? Let's go back for more. I'm like, let's do it. So we did two trips and um, brought a lot, like a lot, a lot. Even like people were looking around, they're like, wow, I can't believe we were able to bring so much. And probably about 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, I was woken up and I'm like, what the hell is that noise? And I'm listening and listening. The rain, it was pouring. It woke me up out of my sleep. Now, I knew that it was going to be lightly raining, but I was like, let's just get it done. It's light rain. It's no big deal. I don't want to move Sunday because I have to go back to work Monday. 
well, guess when we moved on Sunday. So what I said was, okay, you know, I, I rescheduled the truck. That was very easy. Um, there was no like, you know, fee or anything to do that. Cause that's the big thing I was scared about. I was like, they don't let me reschedule. I'm going to have to do this move today. Like there's nothing else to be done. And so, okay, so we're going to do the, I've got you guys really close but you know what I did too? I have that thing that hangs them, um, um, gets attached to the wall and you put the camera on there. I put it a little lower this time where I had it before was a little higher. So if you notice that you're closer, that's why mama's camera's closer. Um, okay. This is great. Cause these are split. Where are we here? No, I want to get the big one first. There we go. And, um, actually I lie to you. I want to get the small one first. You know, I lie. I lie. What can I tell you? So I'm going to bring it up about that. I get it close, but not horrendously close. Not right, not right above or right on the black line. I want to leave a little space. And we'll just work with that. And I think this is opaque enough not to see the black lines. I just don't want to use that stupid white out. It's awful. And yeah, I'll just leave a little space. And I'm okay with that. And uh, my dog is like scratching for me to pick him up, but I'm like, mm, you can't do that. So how pretty, I mean, just oh, so, so beautiful. And so let me see how much space I left there. Oh, it's a little crooked, but it's going to stay just like that. I'm not playing with that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, so yeah, so I, I was able to rescheduled the truck for the next day, called them, confirmed it. And it's so funny because as soon as I realized that it was a literal downpour outside, I sent a group text to everybody that was going to be helping me. I was like, mayday, mayday. <laughs> the, the move is um, happening tomorrow because of the rain. I mean, it was brutal. And so what I did was I took the opportunity. I got my butt dressed. I slept a little longer, like I slept in a bit because I have been working so much and we had done so much on... Friday and so I was really tired and um and I slept in a bit and then I was like okay I'm getting my butt over to the new apartment I called my sister I was like can you come and help me we unpacked so much shit and broke down so many boxes she organized things for me and we did a lot a lot of work and now I'm going to zoom you out just a bit so you can kind of see what we're doing there um, we did so, so much, like we unpacked so much and did so much. So I'm like, this is, you know, I mean, I didn't want to move on Sunday, but I was like, this is kind of good because I was able to get in and my miss. Yeah, I knew that was over here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start putting down my headers as I usually do the, um, today headers for Monday through Friday. And then it's the to do's for, um, Saturday and Sunday. And um, so we, we did, we got a lot done, which really, really came in handy when Sunday came around. Cause I'm like, can you imagine if we didn't do this? She cleaned the bathrooms for me. I was able to put everything out in the bathrooms. Um, we, you know, got a lot of stuff out in the kitchen. It still took a while after that. I think I was being way too ambitious in stating that. And I stated this quite often. <laughs> that I was going to be done, completely done by Sunday night. Cause I got to go back to work Monday. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, in my head, it all sounded really, really good, but, um, it just didn't work out. So, I mean, there was a lot to do, you know, and, and people helped to a point. Um, my sister came back that the actual day of the move, which was Sunday and helped me out a little more. Um, and the move itself was not horrendous. So my mom came S Sunday, was it? Yes, she had my son. So she's like, do you want me to come over and help you? I was like, yes, please. So she came over, we unpacked more. She broke down more boxes. And um, let's see what I want to do with the to-dos. I think I'm going to use, actually, let's use the two light blues. And she helped me out with a lot of things on Sunday when she dropped uh, Carson off because she had him for the weekend. So that way we could, you know, obviously do the move without having to worry about him because he needs constant super supervision. And so that, 
obviously helped. And, you know, we did stuff on Sunday, but then I was back to work on Monday. I already had taken Friday off and I could not take another day off. All right, we're going to move on to the full boxes here, which are gorgeous. And I am going to put the box with the word patience up here. Um, I am going to have to... Ugh, wipe this out but I'm gonna try to do it as slowly and as painlessly as I can possibly do again as long as I can cover up this stuff it's okay all right yeah so I went back to work Monday and I'm the type of person though I'm very 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 organized and so in my mind, you know, this has to go there, that has to go there. And so my anxiety was through the roof, just seeing all the shit everywhere. And I was like, you know, and everybody, and I knew, like I kept telling myself, I'm like, you need to relax first of all, because you're doing this alone. You know, it's not like I moved with my husband, like we did the last time we moved, obviously there were two of us doing everything. Um, and my son, he, he doesn't, he just doesn't understand um, a lot of directions and stuff. So, um, for anybody who's watching this, like if this is your first video, my son, um, has autism and just is not, he doesn't really know how to follow directions very well, must be redirected constantly, constant supervision for anything. So I just let him, you know, watch TV in his room. And actually we didn't have the TV then because they were supposed to come on Saturday. This is such a pain in the ass on Saturday. And um, this is really pissing me the hell off. And, um, you know, I had to reschedule because I wasn't going to be there. TV was still in the box anyway. Um, and so they said, well, we don't have anything until Wednesday. I'm like, son of a bitch, because everything we watch, you need Wi-Fi for. And so I felt so bad on my son. I was like, listen, there's no, and he kind of, you know, he didn't really understand. But I was like, there's no Wi-Fi. We'll have it soon. And we did what we could. Um, and so, you know, I just kept unpacking and organizing and th things of that nature and trying to be patient with myself because again, it just, I, when I see that things need to be done, I have to, it just like, they have to be done right away. And I know that life is not like that. I'm going to get this closer to me, so you probably won't be able to see it, but I have to have it even, um, and it's, you know, it's my own, my own thing. Um, that's even with, um, you know, just needing things a certain way. And that's just the way I am. So for washi today, which I'm looking at it now, and I don't know if that was the best choice. I pulled this from Simply Gilded because I obviously wanted some silver foil. I have the pink and I have bluish purpley. I guess that would work. I think that would be okay. So let's do that. Um, so a lot of the, a lot of that time was just, you know, I, I'm, I was working alone because again, my son was of no help to me <laughs> and I was up late every single night that first week. I'm trying not to do that now and I don't really necessarily need to do that now because there's not a lot to left to do. But those first days I was very, very late, just going to bed super late. And then last Tuesday because I had Wednesday off. I'm like, oh, well, I have Wednesday off and I can do this, that, and the other. So I started doing stuff. I think I started going through my planning stuff and started fixing my desk up. I was watching movies. Um, I didn't go to bed till 4.30 in the morning. It was... <laughs> the next day, I felt so hungover. If you've ever broken night or almost broken night but not really been able to fall asleep or had to get up super early, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to do dinners this week. What I want to do, I know a lot of people do things for like Happy Mail and um, when they're going to be filming and that sort of thing. Oh, let's see. So I'm going to put down this week because again, it's, dinners is not going to be, I haven't really done a proper grocery, you know, like I've been buying stuff that we need for like the upcoming days or that sort of thing. I haven't really done it properly the way I should be doing. Um, and then I do want to use the 
Sidebar Weekly. I like this, but I'm going to use this one. I'll think about what I may want to use this Sidebar Weekly for, but these elements in this kit are just too pretty not to use. They're gorgeous. So, so beautiful. All right, back with the washi. This is so pretty. So yeah, I went to bed at 4 30 in the morning. I was like, why are you even going to bed? But then I really, I really, really started getting sleepy at that point. I'm like, you know, I had to get up to get my son to school. And even though again, I didn't have to work, I had a shit ton of stuff to do. Um, I think I went to the house and got some more stuff. And then I forget what else I had to do, but I believe I picked my son up because I was out anyway. And I think I had to go to the other house to get some stuff. So I picked him up. I was falling on my face and then my mom came over that day because since I'm off and he gets out early, she doesn't see him. She usually takes care of him after school. So she's like, I was already planning to go over there and like help you with stuff. So I was like, okay, please, yes, because I need it. Again, I'm by myself. Um, so she helped me hang up some stuff. I started hanging up stuff. I was like, YouTube, a drill, and some anchors and screws and we're good to go. Uh, let's see. I want to use this important. What I want to start doing is, unfortunately, I have not been really paying attention to my eating habits in the last two weeks and even before then. And, and I know it's stress eating with the, you know, separation and divorce and all that, but I need to rein it in. Um, and what I want to do is I want to use the habit tracker to track days that I go without eating shit snacks and we're not going to talk about how shitty the snacks have been because they've been shitty so this is what i want to start doing and tracking i've been doing very well with my hydration so i'm not going to use that uh let's go ahead and put another thing of washi here but i do need to get back into the rhythm uh this week i am going to be when I get paid on Thursday, I am going to join the gym and back at it four to five times a week. And I'm just going to kick ass for, you know, I think initially is the getting started is the hardest part. So for those, you know, first several months or however long it takes me to get down to my goal weight, I'm just going to hit that hard four to five times a week eating better, just, you know, now that things are relaxed with the move, now I got to concentrate on me. So that's where I'm at with that. And that's what we're going to do because we have to do that. And let's see, what else do I want to do? All right, let's leave that alone for a minute. I'm not sure. I always do this too. I don't know what I want to use the other habit tracker for. And cleaning, I that doesn't bother me. So, and next week I'm going to use on Sunday. Okay, let's go ahead and put down the rest of these full boxes oh there goes the light <laughs> and the glitter headers this is real life folks real life all right so let's see how we're going to start with this i want to start with this nice really rustic looking one since we have the pink there put it right here you never know if stickers are going to completely fill in spacing you know, uh, let's just go ahead right over to this one because it's got that white. So I want that contrast with colors on the boxes. I'm just, you have, you have no idea how happy I am to finally be using this kit. I've been like Googling and oogling over it for forever. And let's see. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? Let's do... Let's do this blue because we have three with deer in them, so I don't want to get them all put together. I want to space them out as much as I can. I actually ordered this again. I just got the shipping notification. I ordered the full boxes. And um, maybe the mini kit even. I don't even remember. I got to look, but I believe I ordered the full boxes and perhaps... The headers because I know that I was going to use them um, when I use this this time but of course I ordered a foil because it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and so very pretty so I can't wait to get that I'm going to use that in 
a TN spread. Um, we've still got many months of, well, not many months, but the winters here in New England are finicky. It, we haven't had snow yet, if you can believe it. But tomorrow, I got to look at the weather again. Tomorrow into Friday, a big ass storm. Then Saturday into Sunday, another big ass storm. So, of course, they're tracking the positioning and which route it's actually taking. But I'm just like, I don't even want to hear the word snow. You know, I've been complaining about the cold, but I'd rather have it be cold, like just wicked cold than. So those are the, oh my God, that looks so beautiful here. Let me open this up. I want you guys to see this. This video is going to be a gazillion hours long because I'm yapping, but how pretty. All right. So now we can get down to the nitty gritty of getting this stuff done. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Glitter headers. I don't want to use blue because we've got a lot of blue. I think I want to use this pink here. So, or it's like a pinky purple. So let's do that. Um, we haven't had snow. We've been so far very, very lucky. But I still don't like to hear the word snow. Like, just go away with that. Oh, this is perfection. The glitter headers are perfect size to cover up that little bit of space that's left from the box. It's beautiful. This is really, really nice. It's like beautiful, right? When everything just works out perfectly and you're just like, yes. <laughs> so far, so good. Loving this kit, loving the way it looks, loving the way it's performing. The paper's pretty. Really, really gorgeous. I definitely am gonna continue to order from the shop. So we'll see, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna check the weather again because you know, it changes literally. And especially in New England, anybody will tell you that that's lived in New England for quite some time. I, I was born and raised here, so the weather changes um, minute to minute here. It's seriously, they go, oh, we're going to get 72 feet of snow. And then it's like, here's 72, um, you know, like microscasms. Or, that's not a word, but you know what I mean. It's like, oh, two snowflakes. Seriously, there's been some times that they're like, it's going to be the biggest nor'easter of the season. Not a freaking single flake has fallen. Schools are, you know, like people are running around like Armageddon outside. It's like a, a, a combination of like the Hunger Games Armageddon and the Walking Dead outside. Because everybody's like, you got to get the milk. You got to get the bread. You got to get this. And I'm like, are we making French toast? Because I'm down for that. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> seriously. All right, so... I want to check out the flag situation here. So you go one, two, three. Oh. Okay, these right here. These are going to be it right here. I love the flags, but I'd have to cover them up. And I don't, you know, the little short ones. And I don't want to do that. But I do need boxes. And these are perfect. All right, so we're just going to take them right across the way. We're not going to use it for... Wednesday because that's the day I'm off so I'll use something different for that day just to differentiate that from the others because I do have to work the rest of the week so yeah so everybody's you know on edge wondering what the hell's going on I'm sure which we have what we need as far as what we need for the next couple of days but he's in school tomorrow the storm I don't think starts until is that right yeah until later but my mom, oh, no, no, not Wednesday. Um, my mom is going to keep him overnight on Thursday because he doesn't have any school on Friday. And then he doesn't have any school on Monday for Martin Luther King. I mean, I, I'm going to be here with him on Monday and just go in later when she gets out of work so I can go to work. But um, he'll be with her for about two or three days. So I'm like, oh, feels like a little breather, <laughs> you know. It's always good to just whatever. All right, so let's go with checklists. Let me see what I'm gonna do. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, see, these are cute. I don't usually use these, but I also have, and of course I'm not gonna be able to find them right away because I would need them right away. I had a freebie here from Nicole, oh, here we go. Nicole Alexia Designs, and that's what it looks like. So you have the three heart checklist, they're clear and foiled obviously beautifully 
So I'm wondering if I should do that for, I think I want to do that for Sunday. I don't normally use things like this, but I see people planning with them and I really like the way they look. They're just a clean type of checklist, you know? And even if they're not on clear paper, that's not a big deal, but that looks really, really pretty. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna keep this close because I may use it again. Um, all right, so there's that. Saturday, we always have a lot to do. That's when I try to clean the house and all that good stuff. Would this fit? That wouldn't fit. So let's do this. Why don't we use, actually, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> let's grab the other one. If we have to add things, we can just add them on the paper. It's no big deal. So the other three heart checklist. These are really pretty. I gotta check these out in her shop. I love that. It's such a clean look. Very, very pretty. All right, and so what we're gonna do is, because I have it in front of my face, we're gonna go ahead and work on this flag, a weekend banner. What I like about it too is that there are little flags in between so you don't, is this a full thing? It is a full thing, I'm dead. I love, look how, oh my God. She, I, she needs to sell these separately or as you know what I mean, just the, the flags ASAP. Oh, look at that. I'm done, we're clumped all over the place. And where's the weekend banner? I love it. Weekend banner, where are you, my love? And it's probably right in my face, and it's like, hey, girl, I'm right here. Ah, here we go. So, hello, weekend. This is really, I'm dead with this. This flag situation is absolute perfection, and then this is going to fit right across the, okay. Oy vey, this is fabulous. I love this. Oh my God, this turned out. Yeah, and I'm shaking like crazy because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> I'm shaking so much because I don't want to mess this up. And there's the weekend banner. Oh my God, how pretty. How pretty. I am so super psyched about that. That is so freaking awesome. Now I'm going to have to go back and see if she sells these on their own. Probably not, but whatever. Okay, so like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, the way I normally do, I am working, and we are gonna go ahead and mark those. And for that, I'm gonna use this script page from Magic Prince Co. How gorgeous is that hollow, right? Beautiful. I am so about the hollow foil lately. I just love how it looks when the light catches it. So we're gonna, I wonder if this is overkill. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. Let me do work here. And we'll do the same thing for the rest of the days that I am working this week. And then I got to get a box for Wednesday since I do have the day off. And I do have another Magic Prince Co. sheet with the day off. Also in hollow, which is beautiful. I'm going to have to order more of these. Because you get a lot of stickers, but the sheets are small. And if you use them a lot, like I do, you are gonna go through them. That's just inevitable. So you see there's the Magic Prince code day off. I mean, look at that. Hollow is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm done with work. I also have one that says film and edit. Just gotta show that to you. I think I'm using this one, <clears throat> excuse me, for this kit today. So let me grab another box or maybe even a flag. I'm really loving flags right now. All right, so I'm gonna grab this flag right here. Again, it's just to differentiate Wednesday because I am off that day. Just to add a little different touch. And then day off right there. Okay, so um, what did I say? All right, so what I wanna do is do an Instagram post. I bought these gorgeous stickers from Saucy Stickers, Stickers Co. And they're just regular black, um, you know, no foil or anything like that. Um, and just since Instagram post, because I want to start getting into Instagram more. And it's one of those things where I think if it's in my, <laughs> in my planner, I'll actually do it. 
So I do want to do one for Monday, which will be the planner spread for that week. And let's see what we've got for stuff to put down. I don't know if I want to use a washi strip. Oh, this is... I'm trying to see what... I'm just like with the foil all the things, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of on that. Well, first of all, I want to mark that it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I am going to use a half box for that. Let's see. Because my son also has no school that day, so I have to mark that. But I'm, I don't want to crowd these boxes, and I still have the box down here. So we'll do that. So Martin Luther King Jr., let me see if I have any deco to make it pretty. Yeah, it already has something, so we'll leave it be. I don't want to over overcrowd it, you know what I mean? But we'll mark that as an okay. Day. Yeah, okay, so that will leave there. And then, like I said, I want to do the Instagram post. So I am going to take a quarter box. Again, just kind of working within the same color family. And then my headers. We'll use littles. Just to cover up that green as well that header color and Instagram post so I'm going to go ahead and put this down a little low sorry if you hear my dog chuffing anytime he hears something he has to you know let people know that he's the boss of everything even though he's not really the boss of everything <laughs> so there's that and then on Tuesday I want to upload so we're gonna do Today, even though I already have it today, but I don't have any more to do's in this color, so which is fine, no big deal. And for that, I definitely do want to use a half box. And I said I wanted to upload, so we don't have that's the only thing, is we don't have upload. Um, scripts on this i do have an upload but it's in black oh i lied to you hold on a second i have this one from rose colored days film edit upload so i will use upload put that right there and then i'll know to put that down and then wednesday i also want to do another instagram post for washi wednesday i want to start getting into that as well and then I'm also filming on Wednesday, so we want to use a half box for that. I don't have any appointments that day. So it should be fine. Oh, that's going down crooked. No bueno. Okay, that should be good. So what did I say? So we're filming. So actually, I'm just going to stick with the Rose Colored Days sheet since they're the same script. Low there for film and then the Instagram post we're gonna use this quarter box and actually do we have the littles we do so it'll look the same as Monday's for the Instagram post and then I'll just write in what I'd like to post about just need to get back into the swing of things keep myself busy and do me you know I know people always say that you do you but it's as simple as that is, as cliche as that sounds, at this point, I really do have to do me. I have to worry about what I need, what I want, make my life good, stay positive, all that stuff. So that's that's where I'm at, and that's what I'm working on. All right, so we're grabbing another Instagram post sticker from the Saucy Stickers Co. sheet. So I'm going to put that at the bottom, then I'll write that in. All right, so for Thursday, it is payday, which is always a good day. Woo -woo. <laughs> I know you just like this chick is crazy but it is payday so I'm gonna take this quarter box here just kind of matching them down 
as I'm going, you know. The payday stickers I'm going to be using are from the Crafty Tatted Mama, and as you can see, you get a lot of payday stickers, and they're gorgeously foiled in silver. And I'm just going to put that right in that box because I don't have to write anything in after I put that. So that's payday. And then also Thursday, I have to remember to pay the rent, even though it's a little early, but that's the last payday. So I want to put down a bill due. So let's do that. I'm going to use the blue as a reminder to pay that rent immediately. So that's easy enough there. And then I also have to do grocery shopping. Oh, and Wednesday, I forgot, I do want a vacuum. So I'm gonna put that down. Let's see, I just need a box. It doesn't have to be anything fancy schmancy. Wednesday, and we're using the pink. So I'm actually gonna grab this one, this quarter box, and we'll use that for vacuuming. Maybe, there we go. All right, so we just need to vacuum. I'm just trying to see what I can use to mark it. Let's see if they have a piece of deco or something here. Yeah, clean the house is not necessarily what I need to do. But they do have these cute little clips. This one with like a little rose there. Hopefully the stupid camera will focus right there. So I'm gonna grab that. Just as a little how cute is that? So, so cute. Okay, so Thursday I also need to go grocery shopping. And what color? Blue. So we'll do the same with the blue. I'm going to put to do. Maybe. There we go. So we'll use that for Thursday. To... What did I say we are going to do? Grocery shop. So I'm just going to grab this quarter box. And I do have grocery shopping scripts, also from the Saucy Stickers Co. These are really nice. I'm going to have to order more of these. The font is beautiful, and it's one of those things, like I always say, it's perfect in its simplicity. It may not be foiled, but the font is gorgeous, and it's, it's beautiful. I love it. So grocery shopping there. And then for Friday, I want to sign up for the gym. So what were we using with that one? There was that one. So we'll do that. We'll just use this one. We know to sign up for the gym. Let me see if I have any functional icons for that. No gym? Lord. Hmm, guess not. Maybe I'll just use another clip, like to remind me. Yeah, so I'll use this one with the bow. Use that one, and we'll just pop that right there as a reminder to join the gym. And I want to, actually not this evening, but I will do my nails on probably Saturday. I do have nail scripts. This is from Katie's Sticker Co. Very cute, very simple. And actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put this down on a flag. Again, even though I have to cover the flags, they, they're very, very cute. So I'm just going to ground this blue one. I'll put this down right here. Just put this down right here as a reminder. I'm going to be doing my nails on Saturday. I also need to clean house. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to just put this sticker that has a nice big mansion. I wish that was my house. And it just says clean house. So I think that's just going to encompass everything. Even though we have the the three heart checklist there, but that's everything. And then on Sundays, what I usually like to do is take a nice hot bath. It's got this gorgeous, um, let me see if this stupid camera will focus, this gorgeous vintage bathtub, like a clawfoot tub, and it just says me time. 
So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that actually right here. Do I want to put this on a flag? I'm trying to think if I want to put it on anything. I may not want to. Yeah, I'll just put it down there. It's big enough and it's pretty enough. And I'm going to put one of these pretty heart balloons just as a oh, added piece of deco. Gorgeous. So I know that I have to... Um, upload, at least upload. Um, so let's see, what were we using? Ah, here we go. So I'm going to go back to the Rose Colored Days YouTube scripts, and I'm going to upload my plan with me. That's when I usually do it. So do that. And let's see what else. What did I have for Saturday and Sunday? I'm just looking at my list here to see what I'm what I had to do. I also want to post on Instagram on Sunday, so let's go ahead and mark that as well. I'm going to grab my Instagram post stickers, and then I want to just grab a thin. Yeah, this would be good. I'm going to grab this pink one here, just a very thin box. Put that there. And then I can use the Instagram post. I need to also learn how to use the, um, actually, I'll just put that right there. I also need to learn how to use that live feature and all this stuff. I'm just like, I feel old, and I'm not that old, but I feel old. Every time I see people using them, I'm like, well, why the hell can't I do that, <laughs> you know? Um, okay, so I think that may be it. Friday is just relaxation. Um, I'm working full-time now, so if I come home later, I'm just kind of moving sheets out of my way that I know I'm not going to need anymore. So I just want to kind of mark that as relaxation, even though the bathtub is for Sunday, but that's, you know, perfect for that. Um, I also need to do laundry on Saturday, so I am going to grab the laundry uh, deco because it is really super cute. Let me see. I think that would be a little too much. So let's put that there because we know we have to do laundry. So I love that. That's very, very cute. Um, so relaxation for Friday night. going to count that as or how are we going to mark that is my my thing I don't know how we're going to mark that to be honest if at all all right we're going to do littles gonna grab this one here and maybe I'll do some Netflix who knows but just relaxation whatever I decide to do me time, my time, that's up. <laughs> and we're gonna grab, actually this box right here that has the same scenery as that bottom washi and it's scalloped, which is really, really cute. And so I'll just write in there me time or relaxation or something like that. And let's see if there's anything to just kind of mark it. Yeah, I'm gonna put one of these little is that the way? No, this is the way it should go, right? Or can it go that way? I don't know. I'm just going to grab this little flower one. <laughs> Deco and just, let's see. I don't want it to be too, too much. We'll put it there. And I'm just looking quickly through the rest of the week to see if there's anything I forgot. Hopefully there's not. But I think that is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in like I normally do off camera what I'm going to be doing I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about this and then I will be back and we'll finish so there is everything written in for this week's spread um, I absolutely love the way this came out as I said at the beginning of the video I was so excited to use this kit and so happy that I finally got around to doing it. The silver foil on everything is just absolutely gorgeous. It just sparkles beautifully. I mean, it is everywhere, which I absolutely love. Um, so that is going to be the week as it stands. If I need to write anything else in, obviously I will do it. 
as the uh, week progresses, but I'm extremely, extremely happy with the way this week's spread came out. So thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, per usual, I always appreciate when you watch my videos and that you enjoy the content I put out. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and also click that little bell so you get alerted as to whenever I upload new content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.